I'm eating an apple. Mm. The apple I'm eating now is actually developed from the ovary of a flower. So, I'm eating an ovary now. And the seeds inside the fruits, the seeds inside the fruits are developed from the ovules inside the ovary. In another word, the seeds and fruits are the results of fertilization or sexual reproduction in plants. Today, we are going to learn about the fertilization process in flowering plant and structures of a seed and their function. You have learned that pollination is the transferring of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma. Let's find out what happened after pollination. When a flower matured, its stigma becomes sticky. When a pollen grain is transferred onto a stigma, it will germinate in a sugary solution and grow a pollen tube. The pollen tube with male gamete grows down the style towards the ovule in the ovary. When the pollen tube reaches the ovule, the end of the pollen tube breaks and the male gamete is released into the ovule which contains the female gamete. The male gamete then fuses with the female gamete to form a zygote. Thus, fertilization is said to have occurred. What is the role of pollen grains? A pollen grain delivers the male gamete to the ovule in the ovary to fuse with the female gamete during fertilization. How flowers from fruit trees change into juicy and freshy fruits? After fertilization, the petals, sepals, stamens, stigmas and star will turn and drop off. The ovary enlarges and develops into a fruit. The ovules develop into seeds. The ovary continuously develops into a fruit that carries and protects the seeds. Next, let's look at the structure of a seed. Seed consists of several parts. The outer covering of a seed is called the testa or the seed coat. The testa has a scar called hilum and a small hole called the micropyle. Inside the seed, there is an embryo made up of a radical and a plumule. Most seeds have two cotyledons and cotyledons are also part of the embryo. So, the embryo is made up of a plumule, a radical and a cotyledon. Each part of a seed has its own function. The testa with a thick outer coat protects the seed. The plumule grows to form a suit. The radical grows to form roots when the seed germinates. The hilum is the place where the seed was once attached to the wall of the fruit. The micropyle allows air and water to enter the seed when the seed is ready to germinate. The cotyledons and endosperm store food that is used by the embryo when it starts to grow. Next, let's do a revision on the structure of seeds. This is micropyle, hilum, Testa, these are cotyledons, plumule, radical, and cotyledons, plumule, and radical made up embryo. And this is an example of a dicotyledon seed. And this is a monocotyledon seed, endosperm, plumule, radical, and cotyledon. And the functions of a seed, testa is to protect the seed, 
Hilum is a place where the seed sticks to the fruit. Cotyledon and endosperms are the places to store food and supply food to the embryo during germination. Promule is part of embryo which develops into new shoots. Radical is part of embryo which develops into new roots. And micropile is a small hole to allow water and air to enter the seed. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you.